between two very happy guys right now and one particularly tired guy, my player of the game, and that would, of course, be Rob Schmidt. Uh, you were the barbarian at the gate today. You did a great job. Well, first off, I'd like to thank all my teammates. You know, um, they made this happen. We got out to a quick 3 nothing lead, took a lot of pressure off of us, and, you know, they did a great job of clearing the front of the net. I didn't have to make too many hard saves. They just did a great job, and I'm proud of them. You made a lot of tough saves, but I think you had confidence that your defense would be there to sweep up the rebound. Yeah, I let, let out some rebounds. I made, made some good saves, but I let some rebounds out, and they, were, they did a great job at clearing, clearing the middle of the ice. Now, having been a goaltender myself, I, I like being up three to nothing. I can breathe a little better. Yeah, I wasn't on my toes, really. I was really jacked up after we got that 3-0 lead. You know, great to play with the lead, better than being down three zip. What's going through your mind when they, when they get within one goal? Nothing can go through your mind. You just have to play like it's 3 nothing. Um, I don't know. You, you have to play with confidence. You have to know that you're going to win no matter what happens. Well, you did a great job today, and I bet you you're pretty proud of them. Coach? Yeah, yeah, I've been proud of them. Win, lose, or draw this game, next game. You, you know, he's the guy that I've told a couple of my buddies that are coaching that he's the guy you want in your locker room. He's just been a rock all year. One of the greatest guys I've ever coached. And uh, just a pleasure, really, to be around him. What will we remember about this game that was more than just a goaltender, that was a great team effort? It was a wonderful team effort. We all played great. We had a great first period and a great third period. Uh, we got, I think we got a little relaxed in the second. They played with a lot of desperation, and we didn't answer it. And obviously, they came back. We got a couple. We got a lucky goal uh, to put us up two goals. Uh, great, great efforts. Uh, but you know, we got to play three periods. Uh, we we got away with one. You know, not playing our best tonight. Uh, you got to give it to Iola. They came after us with a ton of passion and really took it to us after they got down. I didn't even see the first goal. I, I don't know what happened, but, uh, you know, uh, I'm very, very happy that the boys stepped up in the third, uh, played winning hockey, didn't take any dumb penalties, uh, just played smart hockey, and obviously we had Schmidt uh, as the brick with ball tonight, so, but he's been in it all year. So, uh, the boys are playing great. They're real excited, and we're real excited. Anything else, Tony? Well, tell me a little bit about St. Rita and how you guys match up with St. Rita. What, what kind of game do you expect? Hey, we expect a hard-fought game. We've seen Rita several times this year. They're a great team, and, uh, you know, we're going to train this week and get ready for it. That's it. How about you? Same thing. We'll just uh, enjoy this one for the night, come back here or whenever we have practice and get ready to go, and just start uh, getting prepared for Rita. They're a fantastic hockey team. They really have a good coach. Uh, it's going to be a battle, but every game, you know, this time of the year is a battle. So uh, we're going to look forward to it, enjoy it, and uh, get ready to go next Friday night. As Mr. Rogers would say, can you spell United Center? This has been Daily Copic, Mike Romano, also a view from the mic. See you at the United Center.